All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Heroes of the Storm A to Z. Today we are gonna check out, have some fun with Probius. Um, so this is here's this is an interesting video because this is being recorded on the day. Uh, it's on the 31st. This is the day of the recording. Literally right after Probius actually got nerfed down just a little bit. Um, I don't think it's gonna be too much of a change, but they did kind of they did kind of dial down that knob just a little bit. So what, who is Probius, what is Probius, why is Probius interesting? Uh, Probius, it, she, him, I don't even know if he's got a, I see he said he, I don't even know if it's got a pronoun or anything like that. Proby McProbe Face. It is a, is a StarCraft worker probe. Uh, I think it was Blizzard just trolling Reddit, I really do. But it's an interesting one nonetheless. So, Probius is a Area of Denial Specialist. Probius is going to get a lot of push. It's going to get Probius when Probius gets set up. Probius is going to do a huge ton of damage to people that go into his warp rifts. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to call this thing. I'm, I think I'm just going to keep calling it he the whole time. Uh, <laughs> it does a huge amount of damage to get in uh, to enemies that can get into its pro uh, into its warp rifts with its pylons and the slows the warp rifts provide, as well as the turrets. It, the photon cannons, not turrets, photon cannons, uh, provides a lot of area denial, can be very, very strong on maps that have objectives if he gets time to set up. Uh, and even in like just maps where you have a lot of push, you can just take control of a map and, and, and do something like that. It's all going to revolve around his trait. Warp in pylon. If you've played StarCraft 2, you know what a pylon does. You know what a pylon is. A pylon is, is it grants power to to StarCraft, to, you know, Protoss vehicles and structures and, and units. Um, so notice while I'm in the pylon, my mana bar is glowing. Basically glowing. The only time, Probius has no mana regen. Probius has got no mana regen whatsoever. Very minuscule, you know, attack range. I mean, you gotta be super close to even do auto attacks. Let's cast some abilities. Notice I have no mana regen whatsoever. I'm gonna toggle cooldowns here. Actually, I'm going to not toggle cooldowns, because that means I have infinite mana. LOL. Okay. Notice I have no mana regen whatsoever, but the minute I go into this pylon, all my mana is going to come surging back up. As long as you're within your pylon radius, uh, you're basically going to have infinite mana. So that's one thing you're going to want to play around. If these can be... These are going to grant vision. You know, if I run away from here, I'm still going to have vision thanks to the pylon. It will not reveal, but it will grant you vision of the area. It, um, you're going to be able to place your Photon Cannon ability within the Pylon, which we'll talk about that in just a moment. A These can be killed. These can definitely be killed. They can be targeted. They do have a health bar. You can plant two at a time. They have a 12 second cooldown. As long as they're not killed, they will last indefinitely. You can, you know, place them right next to each other. Obviously, the best bet is to, you know, kind of keep them a little further away. So you've got overlapping coverage for a number of reasons. Uh, you know, the ideal situations for these, you're going to want to put them in bushes, you're going to want to put them somewhere where they're going to give you the range of their field, but not somewhere where they're going to be easily found and picked off. So kind of off to the side, just a little bit, you're going to want to get the coverage of it. Uh, if you have two pylons already and you place a third one, the last used pylon will go away. Just kind of like that. So, what are Probius's abilities? Excuse me, outside of pylons. So first we have Disruption Pulse. Fires a burst of energy forward. It deals a nice bat, nice shot, you know, shot of damage. 396 at level 21. Skill shot, you see it looks like I'm gonna toggle cooldowns now. Skill shot looks something like that. It goes through heroes, it goes through everything. So you could like fire that down a minion wave and do some damage. If you've got a bunch of heroes chunked up, it will do some damage. What this is going to, if you see with a tooltip, what this is going to combo with is Warp Rift. Warp Rift looks like this. It takes about a second or so, second and a quarter to charge up. And then when it's here, any enemy that walks into this is going to be slowed. So if I, if I put it on the target dummy, you'll see it's slowed. Only slowed for 20%, but it does slow. Actually, it looks like it slows 25%. So it looks like it does slow. Um, I thought it was 20. Maybe they changed that up. I'm sorry. But it lasts 9 seconds, so any enemy that's in this is going to be slowed. Now this is going to combo with your warp, with your disruption pulse. If you hit the center of the warp rift, which is this kind of glowing black hole looking thing with your disruption pulse, boom! Huge damage. Warp rift explode for 728 damage. You get two charges. You, you, have, you can stack them almost on top of each other. 
the centers have to be separated. You can blow up two of them in one shot. Actually, I missed that because I am silly. There you go. You can blow up both uh, warp rifts in one shot with one disruption pulse if you have it up. This is going to be one of your major area of denial abilities. You know, if this is an objective I'm over here, I put down a couple warp rifts. Enemies have to either walk, th you know, enemies who walk through this, they risk getting blown up. Uh, which is a lot, which is actually significant amounts of damage. They they are going to be slowed, which they're they're going to want to watch out for. Uh, you know, so it's there's only a six second cooldown, and these things last nine seconds. So you can have you know potentially three of them up at one time. There is, as you see here, you can you know I, since I have cooldowns off, I can cast as many as I can get off before they start to expire. It's not a big deal. So you can have more than just the two up at one time. So you can just coat an area, you know, with two or three of these and really just kind of give the enemy pause before they, you know, they want to walk in on that. Last ability here is Photon Cannon, 15 second cooldown by default. Warp in a Photon Cannon that does 239 damage per second. It lasts 13 seconds, so it's gonna look something like that. Here's the interesting thing to note about the Photon Cannon. This is going to prioritize minions. It is not going to prioritize heroes. It's gonna be great to help you clear out a wave. If you're an objective, it'll be fantastic. This also can be killed. Um, if you have minions in there, it's going to shoot the minions before the enemy hero, so you do have to be careful about that. Also to note, you can only place it, you can only place it in a pylon field. I can't place this out here, I can place it right here. Also, if it leaves the pylon field, it goes away, it deactivates. So if the enemy kills your pylon with through range or whatnot, this will go away. Let's take a quick peek, oh, he doesn't have a mount? does not have a mount. He passively goes 10% faster than everybody else. And then he, on a 30 second cooldown, has a buff where he can move faster. He moves up to 60% faster, so 170 total. However, damage will break this. So there you go, you see I got hit and it just slowed me down. So damage will break that extra speed boost. So you're gonna to wanna to use that speed boost to, you know, maybe you get out of danger when you know you're not gonna be hit. You're gonna to wanna to use that speed boost to go, like if an objective spawns, to race everybody, beat them to the objective, and have a few seconds to set up your pylons and set up your warp rifts and, you know, be ready for the fun. Take a quick peek at the alts. The we'll go through here, Choose he's got talent. two. First one is Nullgate, looks something like that. So what that does here, it does damage to anybody who's caught inside it, and it does slow them. Uh, at level 20, this you can upgrade this where this will last indefinitely, as long as... Actually, see, it's going to look from where you target it to here. So like right now, I don't have quick cast on, so if I click, it'll be kind of wherever I, wanna, I want this to go, just to give you an idea of how this is targeted. At level 20, you can upgrade this, where it will last indefinitely as long as at least one half of it is within a pylon field. So, that's pretty nice. Um, level, the other level 10 ability is the one that's more commonly picked. It was just nerfed today, it is pylon overcharge. What it does is it increases the size of power fields and it will allow them to attack enemies pretty significantly. That's a lot of damage. You can really, I mean, you can see the extra range it went to, which is great if you have the other abilities that benefit from your pylon fields. This is, this, again, another, you saw, look at that, 4,000 damage because they all targeted the hero. Huge, huge area of denial ability. If you, you have two pylons up on an objective and suddenly you tag your pylon overcharge, the enemies really need to take a lot of damage or they need to bail out. Also, passively, your pylons gain shields for 30% of their max health, max health, so that's also nice. More pylon uptime is always a good thing for Probius. So, Choose Probius has got a lot of a lot of good talents. We'll, we'll burn through these real fast. We'll take a quick peek. Uh, we've got uh, Gather Minerals. If you were watching the Nova video, that which was the last one, the Probius that I was playing against took Gather Minerals and really made my life a living hell. So what this does is, enemy heroes and minions will drop minerals. If you've played StarCraft, you'll know what I mean by minerals. You can collect them to increase the health of your photon cannons by 8, up to 560, so that's pretty nice. After you collect 70, the cannons will A, deal more damage, and they can see over obstacles, and they will reveal cloaked units nearby. If you have a stealthy on the enemy team, this is a very solid choice. Warp Resonance, also a very solid choice. Heroes hit with Warp Rift Explosions. After hitting 10, the damage is increased by 100. It already does a crap ton of damage. After hitting 20, the Warp Rift gains an additional charge. So, 
Lots and lots of warp rifts. You can just stack the hell out of these as well. Level 4, I, I, I this just got nerfed. I still think it's going to be a good pick. Worker Rush grants an additional 10% passive movement speed when in a power field, and its cooldown is reduced by 20 seconds. So let's see what that looks like. So right now, I already have got, you know, 110% movement speed. We'll we'll take uh, we'll take that and we'll take turbocharged. Now I'm in a power field. I have 20% movement speed. So as long as pylons are up, you're going to be faster. It also reduces the cooldown on your worker rush, and I think that's going to be like the big deal uh, for that. They did just they did nerf the the base speed. I think the cooldown on worker rush is still going to be pretty significant. Uh, Photon barrier can gain some armor. I'm not sure. You know, if you're a lot of spellcasters, this could be nice because it does apply. To Probius, um, so you got to consider who you're up against. Permanent shields is going to be interesting. It's kind of like the Protoss. If you play again, if you played StarCraft, you know that Protoss have shields, so you gain shields equal to 10% of your max health, and they do regenerate. So it's pretty sweet. Level seven, Tower Defense. If you're going, if you're going to go that Tower build, you're probably going to go this first, and then Tower Defense, Proton Cannons, Photon Cannons, Photon Cannons. Damage an enemy hero, its cooldown is reduced. So, with this one, if your photon cannons are hitting enemy heroes, you could conceivably have two of them up at once, since the cooldown will be up before uh, the tower, before the cannon expires. Alternatively, we've got actually a couple good ones here. Disruption Pulse deals 10% more damage for each enemy or warp rift hit up to 50%. Okay, I think if you're if you're not going to go tower defense, rift shock, hitting an enemy hero with warp rift explosion increases Probius's damage against them by 20% for 10 seconds. Also interesting if you're going to go kind of a warp rift build. So you can just kind of like pick how you're going to play it and kind of go down that chain. 10, even though pilot, the damage on pilot overcharge got nerfed, it's still probably the better way to go, at least if you're going to play in a lower, you know, lower league or an organized kind of quick match environment. At 13, these were changed around today as well. Uh, the aggressive matrix, this was buffed. Pylon fields grant an additional, uh, grant allied heroes 35% increased attack damage. So if you have auto attack heroes who are going to be, you know, especially ranged heroes, maybe they're going to be staying in your pylons. This is going to seriously buff them. Zuljin's going to go crazy damage. Um, Butcher's going to do crazy damage with this. Vala is going to be useful if if uh, if she's within range of a pylon field. I think all of these are pretty solid depending on who you're up against. Power overflowing. This will do the same thing, but for spell casters, grant them 10% increased spell power and also regen their mana. So if you got a lot of spell casters with some mana problems, this could be useful. This one was just buffed. I'm um, sorry, this one, Shield Battery was nerfed while Aggressive Matrix was buffed. Shield Battery was nerfed. What this does is Pylon's Power Field will grant allied heroes sh uh, a number of shields per second. So as long as they're in the Pylon Field, they get shielded. The, the amount shielded was nerfed, but it still does the shields. Also a couple of cool talents that I, that I like at 16. Uh, Gravity Well will increase the amount of slow in the center up to Warp Rift. So the closer they are, the more they get slowed up to 60%. So if you can like drop this on somebody's head and they're you know stunned or something, or if they have to walk through this to get to get to a point, huge huge slow. Uh, interesting talent here is Repulsor. If the enemies are hit by a Warp Rift explosion, they're knocked back. That's just an extra you know area of denial kind of stuff. Uh, warp Rift slow lingering. If they lose contact, they'll still be slowed for a couple seconds. Potentially, that could be interesting as well. Um, these are more situational, and unless you unless you're consistently landing your warp rifts, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of interference. But what it does is, if uh, they do get hit by the warp rift explosion, their spell power is reduced by 35%. And at level 20, I generally go, I generally upgrade whatever alt I take. I, I already talked about gatekeeper. If you do pylons. You'll get up to three active pylons, and that's a big deal, and it increases the damage of pylon overcharge by 25%. Excuse me. So that's usually the way I go. Um, let's take a look. We'll see what we get. Warp Rift build is very, very lots of damage for that, If you, especially if you can land heroes, land hits on heroes consistently. Uh, the turret build, turret build is kind of fun. Probius is going to want to watch out. Basically, anybody who can kill your 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 pylons very quickly, you are without your pylons, you are essentially useless um, because you'll run out of mana very quickly. You're very very weak. You want to be able to keep your pylons alive at all costs. 
anyone who can get in on that is going to be trouble. Trace, like, again, high mobility heroes are, are trouble because you're all, none of your abilities are point and click. So Tracer will be able to kind of like dive in and out of your warp rifts. Um, anyone who can do Illidan, possibly. So here we go, we got a Tracer on our team. We have lots of damage in our team. We've got a Samaro, a Tracer, a Butcher, and I think that's a Thrall. Lots of damage in our team, not so much on the sustain. We are on Infernal Shrine, so that is potentially good for us. Uh, we can really lock down the point, the capture point, when it's time. They have... Genji can dive in on us. Have to watch out for that. Chromie can outrange us. This isn't a great, not a good matchup. Uh, Samaro. Okay. Nazebo and Jaina. Okay, so all, all potentially interesting threats. I think I might take Aggressive Matrix at 13, just looking at this combo. Lots of auto attack damage here. And I'll probably go to start off with the turrets. I may even end up going... I'm not sure. Do I want to go Warp Rift build or not? Chromie can outrange me. It's very interesting. So they got lots of damage too. The Samaros, we'll say they cancel each other out. Their Nazebo is low level, relatively, so that could be in our favor. I'm going to go turret build just, just for kind of Samaro tracking abilities. Maybe if Genji dives in, he can get a turret firing on him, so hopefully that will be a thing that happens. We're going to see how this plays out. I, I've, I haven't actually played uh, Probius in a little bit. And here we go. So I'm going to start off with Gather Minerals. I'm also going to go bottom. I'm going to start off bottom. I'm not even going to bother with the team. There's no point for me really to go middle with the team. I'm just going to go bottom. I want to build up some pylons. I really don't even need Thrall here. Cycles remaining. I may be better suited to go top, in fairness. But uh, I'm going to start with bottom. Five, four, three, two, one. Let so I'm going to use my trait, begin. or my, my worker rush right off the bat, just to get out here. I want to drop a couple pylons. I'm gonna put one. I'm gonna put one here. It's gonna be. It's a. It doesn't reach the middle, but it's gonna give me some range. Just to be able to kind of retreat here. It's hard to see. It's behind a tur or behind a wall. So they do have to make a point to go and kill this. Um, looks like all of them went top. Three top. I see one middle. If I'm the only one bottom, then that's great. Thrall really should rotate, probably to the middle. You see the damage the Warp Rifts are going to do to the enemy minions right away. And we're going to grab grab the minerals right there. Just a lot of push. We're going to put we're gonna put a lot of pressure on the forts just to start. I do have to back off. Notice I have no mana, so I need to back off here into the range of my pylon fields. Now, I should probably type and tell Thrall to go top, or mid, or something. There he goes. Okay, cool. Not... Not... Oh, now I gotta watch out for Chromie. See, Chromie... If she... Chromie's, Chromie's a tough matchup for Probius. Uh, she is going to be able to not only outrange my abilities, but if she finds my turrets... My, my, excuse me. Whoops. If she finds my pylons, yep, she'll be able to do just that and out-nuke them. It is done. Activate the shrine. Defeat its guardians. And the punisher will be ours. I missed the well because I'm bad. There we go. I'm going to come back here. If Chromie's going to hang out here, I really, you know, don't know... There we go. We'll just she'll walk away. I'm gonna continue here since this is the first objective. I'm just gonna stay here a little bit. I'm going to push. Right 
I want to get my minerals. It doesn't even look like... I really should aim that better. <laughs> it doesn't even look like we've activated the shrine yet. So you know what? In that case, F it. I'm going to go up here. I'll help out. Do you have to watch out for that? There we go. There is a kill. Thanks very much, team. Gotta watch out for that. Yep. The warp rifts can be a little troublesome to hit if you're not good with your targeting. You see, I've, I've definitely missed two warp rifts right there, which should have been some guaranteed guardian kills. Uh, I am super low health, though. I do have to watch out for that. We're just going to put that there, so hopefully they don't blow up my pylon. There is a kill. There is another kill. I'm gonna get myself picked off. We just get this. That was very touchy. I'm gonna bail off. And Hearth. And I'm going to go back bottom. I'm going to go right back where I was. I only have 37 minerals. I would like to get some more. I'm going to put a uh, pylon right here. Blow all you guys up. I think our Samaro is going for the camp over there, which would be great. I will just work on this in the meantime. Take all of these. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put that there. That's right in the middle. Chromie is going to eat that up, but I want to get a forward-facing turret just to try to piss her off. I hit her and missed the warp rift. Alright, now we need to back off a little bit. They do have some dives, so that's uh, a little troublesome. We're gonna bail out, we're gonna put a turret up here, we're gonna hit pile on overcharge. We're just gonna get, uh, yeah, let's let's blow that up. Do so you have to watch out here? There you go, boys. You get to take some damage. A shrine is gathering power This is a shrine near us. We're gonna put a pylon right here. I am awful at apparently at hitting pylons. Just dodge that, a little bit of a juke action there.
Be a little more aggressive here with my pylon placement, and that's fine. If, my, if the team keeps them distracted over there, I am quite okay with that. I will just sit here and that's gonna kill him. No, it's not. He's just gonna get away because he stealth. There we go. Two kills. I like that. Very good. Uh, let's take aggressive matrix. I'm gonna go aggressive matrix. Oh, that was not our team. Where did our team go? I thought we had a team there. Good kill by Tracer. Butcher is there. He's he's probably too far away to get into my pylon field. But Tracer is in it right now. Going to do a lot more damage. We should pick up this should pick up this objective uh, with none too much trouble. There we go. I'm not even playing Probius all that well. We are doing well to start with. Uh, let's go here. I'm going to head over here. Butcher goes down. This is the only camp that's up. I'm just going to take it while they're messing around over here. There's a fort for us. I still need 10 more damn minerals. 8 more minerals, excuse me. There we go. Actually, I'm heading up to the top. Butcher can go. Butcher can go. We lost lots of heroes, though, on the bottom. That is too bad. I should probably actually hit a warp rift. That would be better. There it is. I do want to back off. They're going to be coming our way soon. I'm going to put that down just to watch out for... See, I got this whole area now piloned off. I want to watch... I don't see them on the map. So I imagine they're... they're I'm watching out for the rotation. I imagine they're at that camp. That is my guess. My, camp, my guess is that camp is going to pop very soon. Oh, there's a Chromie. Yep, there we go. I need two more minerals, which I'll get shortly. So they didn't go to the camp. Yeah, that was the fake one. Maybe a little premature on that pylon overcharge. I was just kind of playing defensively. I wish our team would stay together and stop getting killed. Yep, and there it goes. Lots of damage. He's not going to be able to chase me down. Now, they blew up one pylon. The other one is up. 
And now I'm just gonna fire this off. I'm gonna try and do some damage to people. There he goes, okay. Somebody, I would love if somebody would kill Chromie so I can stop getting nuked. That would make me a happy guy. There we go. Thank you, Butcher. You're my buddy. Fantastic. I like it. Samaro just ignored all of that and was taking a camp up top. Thanks, buddy. Samaro is coming up top. I'm going to see if I can give some assistance to my team in middle. And by middle, I mean I'm going to take this camp. I'm going to try to take this camp anyway and steal it from them. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. And I got killed by <laughs> Chromie across the wall. Oh, that's too bad. That was a good Chromie shot. Uh, the pylon overcharge got Samaro, but Chromie picked me off, and now she's gonna pick off Tracer. N none of that should have happened. I don't know what any of that was. I, I have to assume Tracer got killed by Bronze Talons. Um, Chromie didn't even take Bronze Talons, so I don't know what Tracer was doing. She had no business getting killed with that. No, that's too bad. Butcher does have his meat, so that's nice. And there goes Chromie as I take a drink, excuse me. Butcher is going to get killed by Grana. Well then, we're we are a good team. We are good. I like it. We are good. G-U-D. Yeah, Samara wants to defend. I didn't even know what picked off Nazebo, so that is fantastic for us. Anytime a teammate, anytime an enemy gets killed when your entire team is dead is a good thing. He must have got nailed by the... He must have got nailed by the turret fire? I don't even know. Um, let's see what I can do. Tracer's alive. If I can set up shop before anyone can get there, that would be pretty nice. Let me put a turret right there. And I'm going to put a turret up here if I can stay alive long enough to do so. My pylon overcharge is up, so that's nice. So Jaina is nearby. And there we go. Good kill. Solid kill. So hopefully that aggressive matrix is working out for the team. I'm going to place the third one over here because that is where they're going to be coming from. And that's where I want my pylon overcharge to be. Yep, we're gonna fire that off right now. Death ill advised. Enemy slain. The Zebo is there, should get killed. Oh, that was a good ice block. They he still should get killed by Butcher. And he does. The Lime of the Slaughter equals game over for him. This will be... I will be up in 30 seconds. That is forever. But we're going to get this. Uh, Jane is going to be the only one alive. And there's only nine to go. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a... At the very least, to get a keep. I would like to get a keep. I don't think we can win the game. They're going to be up too soon. But I would love to be able to get a keep. 
<coughs> excuse me. When I spawn, I'm going to come over here to this bruiser camp. There we go. I'm going to be too far away to do much to help the team. There we go. Our Punisher has Didn't even come close. It's alright. Did get all of the Merc Camps that are currently available. Get a lot of extra push on the map. Uh, I would like to hang out with my team now. I mean, it's good. It's 22 to 21. I want to set up shop somewhere. I don't know where they're going. Here's a turret in the middle of nowhere. There's a pylon, excuse me. In the middle of nowhere. Just for the sake. Oh, very good. There's a kill. There's two kills. I missed my disruption pulse, but we get the kill anyway by easily. Here's a pylon out in the middle of nowhere. Here is... Vish now with three dead. Whoops, just missed that. That was close. There we go. Pylon overload for everybody. Just missed Jaina. Probably could have killed her, but that's fine. We'll blow that up. I don't want you to heal. There's a kill on our Samaro. And there's their keep down. Okay. Very good. That's a good push. Uh, maybe? Uh, I guess not. We're gonna run away now. Thank you, whoever, whatever that was, I appreciate that. Now it is definitely time to bail out. I'm just going to throw some pylons down there. Thrall goes down. We have a two on three advantage. Uh, it will be, yeah, you're dead, buddy. Yeah, there's really not much I'm going to be able to do here. If they decide to come for this, and here they come, I am going to be in a lot of trouble. Eh, there it is. We're going to fire that off again. Hopefully we'll get a kill. Probably we'll just kind of give him some, chase him away a little bit. This is still a two, two potentially, two on five. Enemy slain. Samaro got a, that's fantastic. A kill on Chromie is exactly what I need. That's fine, you can do that. Oh, come the fuck on. For all you need to stun him, dude, or root him, I should say. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna mute that. I don't. I'm just gonna mute him. He is. He is pinging like the most obvious goddamn thing. When um, he's just doing it too much. I'm. I. You know. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. But I get it. I get it. Yeah. 
fort. Um, Butcher is nowhere near this engagement. I'm not sure what's going on here. Again, yeah, you've heard me bitch about internal thr infernal shrines. We really should bait him over. That was not the place to bait. Uh, it worked out. He might get killed for it. No, stays alive. He, he does pull the bait off. I would have preferred him to do it up here rather than near the... Uh, near the, the sippy cup. There we go. Who is the only one alive? The only one alive is their Samaro. We should core now. Like, we have everybody. Like, this is the perfect opportunity. There is four of us alive. Only their Samaro. We absolutely should be able to blow this up. Thank you, Butcher! There goes there. Oops, I do want to stay out of this crossfire. Alright, I'm gonna probably give... I don't know who gets MVP here. Butcher probably? He got all the kills. Um, Enemy defeated. Good essence. Tracer! Okay! MVP. Yeah, that was quite a lot too. Quite a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Butcher some props. So that was Probius, and that's I'm glad I got that happened because that's back back in a winning streak. Anyhow, let's take a peek at the stats and the things and the, the talents and all. And thanks, I got a loot chest. All right. Not quite gonna get a level out of it, I don't think. Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, seven thousand to level. What is that crap? Okay, uh, stats. I yeah, I'm not a great Probius. I really feel like better. I feel like if you're a better Probius, you have better placement with your warp rifts. Um, you know, I, I was fine with the pylons. I I I think I blow up. I think I I think I blow up my warp rifts too quickly. Uh, I don't give the they do slow so I don't give them the opportunity to necessarily slow people this was kind of a tough matchup as there was a bunch of range Chromie Chromie is a very good counter to Probius just for that reason she can drop she can drop the sand blasts on me from long range and the dragon's breath and blow up my, my pylon so she was kind of a hassle for a bit I think without Chromie it would have been a much more comfortable game uh, from my standpoint at least you know, we we did okay. We died a lot. That thrall we just got was getting picked off left and right. I mean, not to not to you know, that was a tough matchup for him too. I think. Um, fortunately, we had all of the DPS and enough of the DPS to do what we needed to do. We got the kill. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on in this chat. We got the kill, and thankfully, uh, we got the kill kills at the end and secured the game. 24 minutes though, almost 25. All of the deaths on both sides. I mean, I think this was one of those games where just everybody gets exploded. So. Anyhow, talents. I went, I went a, a, a turret build. I don't know how well that went for me. I went here. We go. Level one. Gather minerals. Enemy heroes and minions drop minerals when killed. I, I was able to tap this off. I, I really did this as kind of Samaro ganking protection, but I don't know how much of a difference this actually made. Uh, I don't know if Warp Rift build would have been better. I was having trouble hitting the Warp Rifts, so maybe this was working out in my favor. Anyhow, level 4 turbocharge. They did reduce the speed buff. I'm not worried about that. I really take this more for the cooldown reduction is kind of why I grab this. Level 7 tower defense. When Photon Cannon hits an enemy, its cooldown is reduced. Or hits an enemy hero. Its cooldown is reduced. Uh, yeah, I, I think there were a couple of times that worked out. This one really, I think, was a game saver for me a couple of times. Pylon overcharge, mm, cooldown 80 seconds, increases the pylon damage, does all of the damage. It does quite a lot of damage, actually. I mean, it really does prevent 
you know, kind of ganks. I think I'm, I think that was the one kill I got on Samara when I was trying to take the shrine right before Chromie picked me off. Um, it definitely, if you're in this, you, you need to bail out. You either need to bail out or eat lots of damage, and you're going to need support. And we don't have any healers in this game, so yeah, that worked out. Level 13, Aggressive Matrix. Uh, as long as people are within the pylon field, they increase their attack damage. I hope that this, you know, worked out for my team. I don't know how often they were attacking people inside of my pylon fields. I could have been more aggressive with the pylons to help them out, since the enemy team was ranged, but I'm, I'm going to hope that helped them out. That's kind of the plan that I was going on, at least. 35% is pretty, pretty great when you've got, I mean, Tracer hits pretty quick, so that'll help her, and then the Butcher hits very strong, so that, that is a, a solid bit here. Gravity well, enemies are slow the closer they are to the center, up to the maximum of 60%. And then uh, I it's construct additional pylons, just more pylons and more damage. So that is Probius overall. I think you get the idea of why he's potentially strong. He definitely has a lot of zone control. That was a good map for him because of that. Um, you know, you hopefully, I didn't play him all that well, but hopefully you got the idea of... Um, when you're in, especially like in that objective right there, I was just throwing up the warp rifts. I probably should have been more aggressive, but throwing up the warp rifts, and it does give the enemy pause before they have to kind of walk in. They're like, do I do I take this damage? I mean, this is potentially going to be, you know, I could get hit for uh, for a damage spike if I stand in this, and if they're not, they're going to be slowed. So there you go. That's why he's pretty strong right now. Uh, so that's Probius. He he is good if you can play him well. He's very good. I think his his win rate right now is like 56% or something. Maybe a little less, 54%. I'm not sure off the top of my head. It's good. He's 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 strong. Uh, if you give him time to set up, really with Probius, the trick is range, as you saw there. Chromius giving me a hard time and and preventing him diving in past the pylons and preventing him the ability to set up shop and that'll that'll really give him some pause and Gen Genji was doing a good job of that too so it was a tough matchup for me personally but thankfully my team carried the load uh, for me and we were able to pull it off anyway uh, my name is Conman as usual <laughs> thanks for watching let me know what you think uh, I'll post the build up on the hero's hearth and I uh, hope to see you soon